Harrison Police Department does have a new tool at its disposal. 7 News' Chloe Salsameda looks at what they're installing in those cruisers. The Anderson Police Department has received a nearly $300,000 grant to install new dash cameras in their cars. They say they will help them better record their interactions with the public. This video shows an Anderson police officer driving to a scene as deputies draw their guns to arrest a suspect. It was captured on one of the department's new dash cameras. It's good for us because it protects us as officers, but it also protects the public. The Anderson Police Department was recently awarded a $299,000 grant from the Department of Public Safety to buy and install the GTAG dash camera system in 35 of their cars. Each car will be equipped with three cameras. The front facing camera has two cameras on it. Uh, one camera at the base of it, it turns 360 degrees, as well as there is a camera in the rear partition of the vehicle where normally people know that we transport our prisoners. If it's a traffic stop, I just select traffic stop, hit the check button, and it's now categorized it. The cameras automatically turn on when an officer turns on their blue lights. They record until an officer turns the cameras off. The footage is then saved in a cloud drive. The officers that are in that vehicle, they have access to immediately be able to view and watch their video as well as audio to that system. The GTAC system is an upgrade from the department's previous cameras, which recorded onto DVDs. The system is so advanced, uh, it keeps up with your coordinates. It really shows me how fast that officer is going. Lieutenant Cornelius Pickens says the footage will be crucial in helping the solicitor's office prosecute cases. If there was a one-sided story or a two-sided story that there was not much sense to, uh, if you have that video available, that video footage available, it's easy to go back and watch. Pickens also says the cameras will play a vital role in DUI cases. We're trying to capture not only the driver's movements if we're behind them, so we want that recording of them driving, but once we get out and we start field sobriety testing, we want to be able to capture their full body in camera view. This camera system is definitely going to provide that. Police say they hope to continue installing this technology in more of their cars in the future. In Anderson, Chloe Salsameda, 7 News. With the cameras, there's also a microphone that could be clipped to the officer's vest or belt so officers' conversations could be recorded.